ever been curious about why some people just love bitter or super spicy foods? What does umami actually mean? And how can you compensate when you've accidentally oversalted a dish? Becky Salengut answers all of these questions and more in her book, How to Taste. She invited us over for tea and a chat about the art and science of taste. My name is Becky Selengett. I'm the author of How to Taste, as well as a couple other books, Shrimp, Good Fish, and Not One Shrine. I'm a cooking teacher at the Pantry Cooking School at PCC Markets. Um, I'm a freelance writer for Serious Eats, and I also co-host a comedy podcast called Look Inside This Book Club. You've written about recipes with foraged mushrooms, cooking with fish, and eating your way through Tokyo. What inspired you to tackle the subject of balance in food? So I was teaching a class at the pantry on, I think it was soups, and it was the end of the class, and I was turning, I was going to just adjust the, the seasoning on the soup and, and serve the, the students, and I took a, took a bite, and I added a little salt, took another bite, added more salt, added a little bit of lime, and added a little bit of fish sauce, tasted it, was like, all right, turned around, and the class was just staring at me, and they're like, that's the class we want to take. And I was like, what? They're like, everything that just went through your mind in the last two minutes. That's what we want to learn. And my first thought was, well, you kind of have to be in the restaurant business or food business for 20 years. And that's a horrible thing for a cooking teacher to, to you know, think because I want to make the stuff approachable and accessible to people. So I started basically watching myself like a zoo animal. Like, what are, what are the things that I'm doing? What are the sounds I'm making? What are the gestures I'm making? How do I know when there's enough salt, etc.? And so that turned into a class, and then the class turned into a book. 